welcome back everyone to another easy recipe video of chole now this is the chole or the chickpeas which you can have it with bature with puri or even with naan the ingredients are very simple very few basic masalas which you need and it uh, turns out extremely delicious before i walk you through the recipe if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and after you watch the video do hit the like button and let me know your comments about the recipe so let's have a look at the ingredients now to make chole you would need about 30 to 35 ml of any cooking oil then you need 150 grams of chickpeas or kabuli chana which has been soaked overnight with a teaspoon of baking powder and pressure cooked with one bay leaf black salt and I've used water which was brewed I mean I've added about one tablespoon of uh, loose tea leaves and brewed it I use this water to cook the chickpeas after cooking I've strained it out now this is a masala mix of one medium onion six to seven garlic cloves half inch of ginger three dry red Kashmiri chilies which has been ground to a smooth paste now these are all the dry spices this is about one teaspoon of pomegranate powder one four teaspoon of turmeric powder then there is one teaspoon of garam masala one teaspoon of cumin powder and one tablespoon of coriander powder this is one teaspoon of amchur or dry mango powder and this is black salt as per taste now let's begin cooking by heating three tablespoons of oil in a wok a kadai or any pan which you would use once the oil is heated add the ground masala paste the onion ginger garlic tomato paste and you have to fry this well for about two three minutes on a high flame until the raw smell is off Now cover and cook this for about another 3 to 4 minutes until you see the oil has started to float. We are going to repeat cooking this masalas with the spices for about 3-4 times which you will see in the footage which is going to come ahead. Now you see the oil has already started to float. Now we're going to add the black salt. You may use regular salt as well. Add salt and give a good mix and cook for about 2 minutes again. Now it's time to add all the dry spices. Now add all the dry spices, give a good mix and cook for another about 2-3 to three minutes until you see that the masalas are well combined. Now you see the masalas have already soaked in the oil but it's not cooked as yet now I'm adding the reserved stock from cooking chickpeas just add a little so it gets the masalas going now cover and cook this until you see the oil starts to float or it leaves the edges we are going to do the same procedure for about two more times to roast the masala as well the key is roasting masalas this actually gets a nice color to the to the chole and also because we we're, we're using the the tea water 
that actually imparts a very nice color to the chole. Now if you see this is going to be a little longer uh, roasting video but it's just you know a bit an elaborate uh, explanation of uh, roasting the masalas but the procedure is very simple. You have to roast the masalas about 3-4 times. Every time you have to add in the tea water so that the masalas don't burn. Continue roasting masalas while you enjoy the background music. Now you see the oil has beautifully started to float which actually indicates the masalas have cooked well and even the color of the masala has changed. Now add the chickpeas. Give a good mix so that everything is well combined and then let it cook for about 2-3 to three minutes for all the masalas to soak in the, the chana or the chickpeas. Now adding ghee is optional but I prefer doing it because it gives a very nice flavor to the chole. You may add if you like a teaspoon or just ignore it also. Now while cooking the choles, I have added about 2 cups of the stock or you could say the tea water and I still have about 1.5 cups left. I am going to add about 1 cup or little more than 1 cup to the chole now and then cook along with it. Uh, you have to note that the choles will thicken a little bit after you finish cooking so if you like to have a little bit of loose consistency you can add more of stock add the stock cover and cook for about three to four minutes on a medium high heat Now before the final cooking, uh, just check your uh, seasoning if uh, the salt is enough. Now it's already thickened a little bit, it's time to add the dry mango powder. Add amateur powder, give it a good mix and cook for another about 2 minutes again. Now your chole is almost ready. To have more flavor add some chopped cilantro and turn off the heat and keep it covered for about 5 minutes and then you can plate it or serve it. So here is a chole ready. Do let me know how you like the recipe. If you do try out let me know in the comments or on my Instagram. All my social media links are in the description box. I'm also going to paste all the ingredients in the description box. So if you missed during the video, you can find it down. Enjoy your chole with some hot batures.
and hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you for watching.